Hi, I'm Michael Hines here from Hudson Valley Sports Report, and it's coming up on a big weekend for volleyball. We're coming down to the final four teams in each class, and both Millbrook and Haldane are getting ready by scrimmaging each other to prepare for their upcoming respective games. Millbrook has made it to the semifinals three out of the past four years, and Haldane has made it to the finals every year since 2010, including winning it all in 2011 and 2013. So needless to say, both of these teams need to be ready for their upcoming games. Now let's catch up with some of the players and coaches to see how they feel about the upcoming weekend. So congratulations, your girls are on to the Final Four. How does it feel? Thank you. It's really exciting. Um, this is my fourth year on the team, and it's my third year going back to the State Final Four. But this is such a great group of girls, and I'm excited to be going with them. So aside from this scrimmage, what are you girls doing to get ready? Um, we've been practicing really hard every day after school, just because it's the postseason. We haven't been going any easier and working hard every day. So what are some of the benefits you've seen from the scrimmage thus far? Um, we're, this is a great team, and it's awesome to be playing such great competition to get ready for this weekend. So how confident are you going into the games this weekend? I'm very confident as us as, as a team. If we just play exactly how we've been practicing all year, I think we'll be fine. Okay, Coach, so your girls are in the Final Four. Uh, what are you guys doing to get ready? Uh, honestly, we've been you know, running the same type of practices, working on the things that we like to do best, um, working on our strengths. We haven't really changed much at all. Um, you know, we haven't let up in practice either. We're still doing all of our conditioning. We're still doing, you know, pushing ourselves uh, close to three hour practices, um, just getting ourselves ready. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us here. You know, we scrimmage every day. I carry enough girls where we can scrimmage, but to get a chance to scrimmage against somebody else is always a plus. So you talked about how it was a plus. What kind of benefits are your girls taking away from scrimmaging against Haldane? Uh, well, we know Haldane's a great program, and we know that, that every time we get the chance to play them, it's going to be you know, a great battle. Um, they, they're well-rounded all around. It's not just one player that they feed off of. It's great athletes on their entire team. So that's what we expect to see this weekend, and, and to see it today is, is, is great for us. Now, given your guys' past record, you're definitely one of the teams to watch out for. Who do you think is your top competition coming up this weekend? Yeah, you know, as far as what we look for, obviously everybody knows Eden, you know, and in, in, in the history of Eden. Um, but what we want to do is just we want to take care of our own business every game. Uh, that's the beauty of states is you go in there one set at a time and try to try to each win each one, and you come out with at least the second best record, and then take care of business the next day. You know what you need to do. You guys are in the final four. How does it feel? Uh, it's so awesome going up there again. Like this is gonna be uh, some of our fourth years yeah. going up there and playing together as a team, like and being like friends on and off the court, like going up there together is just so awesome. So what are you girls doing to get, to get ready for the upcoming weekend? A lot of what we're doing for this weekend is a lot of technical stuff. So we're going over like passing drills, hitting drills, and like getting the short balls and deep balls. It's mostly like a lot of team preparation and one-on-one. -on -one. So what were some of the takeaways you've had from today's game? Um, we have to work on services a little bit more, and we have to work on keeping energy up throughout the game. And we have to work on like depending on each other more than like being ourselves. What's your confidence level going into this weekend? We're not a very tall team, and we're not, but we have very good defense, and we have to go in there like we're simple, we're a simple team, we have to go in there with the intent to win, but the intent that we are going to make set, like, mistakes, and we have to go in there with just keep our heads up. All right, coach, so your girls are on to the semifinal. What's the confidence level going in? Pretty confident. We have a lot of work. There's a lot of good teams up there. It's not going to be easy. If we work hard, I think we'll be okay. You mentioned some of the good teams up there. Who do you think is your top competition? Uh, Portville, Tioga, they're out for us after two years ago. Um, we don't know much about Mayfield, but the other two, I know they're very good. So what are some of the benefits of a scrimmage like this? We get to see things from other teams. Millbrook's very good. They have a great middle outside, and Megan, um, hopefully, we don't see something as good as that. Uh, fix things, she hits lines really well. I know one of the teams hits lines really well. So, you know, work on things and see different things. We scrimmage a whole bunch of teams, so see it all different angles of everybody. Well, there you have it from the players and coaches. They're getting ready for this upcoming weekend by playing the best teams they can and practicing as hard as they can. So now look for a big weekend from both teams.